After making our Tesla Model 3 true cost of ownership video, we were amazed at all the insightful comments. So we decided we'd take a list of all the top comments and cover them one by one, starting with a comment we get quite a bit. You can't compare the Model 3 at 35K because you can't even get a Model 3 for 35K. Clearly, this is an important topic, especially when talking about the first mass production affordable Tesla. So the question is, is the $35,000 Model 3 a lie? Or can you actually buy one with any hope of one day seeing it on your driveway? To answer this question, let's first look at your purchase options when considering a Tesla Model 3. For $35,000, you get the vaunted base model in any color you want, so long as it's black. Yes, any other color will cost you $1,000. But before you get flashbacks of hand cranking the windows and being without air conditioning, you should know the base model is actually pretty well equipped. It comes with one touch power windows all around, the 15 inch touch display which is years ahead of anything else and even Wi-Fi. The base model comes with a 50 kilowatt hour battery pack, good for 220 miles of range. It'll do 0 to 60 miles per hour in 5.6 seconds with a top speed of 130 miles an hour. Now if you want to go further per charge, you'll have to shell out an additional $9,000 for the long range option. This increases the battery pack from 50 to 75 kilowatt hours and increases driving range from 220 to 310 miles. And with more batteries to draw from, the 0 to 60 time is reduced to 5.1 seconds and the top speed is now 140 miles an hour. Now in the way of amenities, the Model 3 offers a premium upgrade package for $5,000. This brings creature comforts like premium materials, 12-way heated power seats up front, a dock for two smartphones in the center stack, and a premium audio system. This doesn't add range or make it go any faster, but it will make the interior a nice place to be for those hundreds of miles between charges. Next up are the autopilot features. The first tier is the enhanced autopilot package, which costs $5,000. On top of more ubiquitous features like forward collision mitigation or blind spot monitoring, with this package, your Tesla will actually be able to change lanes for you, navigate freeway interchanges, and even exit and park at your destination. This upgrade includes a lot of hardware and sensors needed for a fully autonomous car. But if you actually want your car to be fully autonomous, you'll have to get the enhanced autopilot package and then add the $3,000 full self-driving package. Last but not least, Tesla has also recently announced and begun taking reservations for the all-wheel drive Model 3s. All-wheel drive adds $4,000 to a $49,000 car which already has the extended range and premium packages. And a further $11,000 lands you the flagship performance all-wheel drive model that cuts the 0-60 to times to just 3.5 seconds. That means the top of the line Model 3 will cost $64,000 before tax and credits. And as of July 2018, a quick look at their website reveals that the most expensive performance edition has an estimated wait time of two to four months, while the long range with premium package cars have a three to five month wait time. They aren't even taking reservations yet for the base model car, and they expect wait times of six to nine months. So is the $35,000 base model a lie? Well, no but you'd better be prepared to wait until probably mid-2019 to get one. This might all seem a bit backward, delivering the promised $35,000 EV last after all the other models, but fear not, Elon Musk knows what he's doing. First, let's examine Tesla's strategy from the beginning. In the business of making and selling products, you have one of two basic strategies. Find a way to cheaply mass produce them and sell them for lower profit margins, or make something on a small scale, sell less of them, but at a bigger margin. Since Tesla's inception, the entire world's lithium ion battery production wasn't sufficient to create Elon Musk's goal of 5,000 Model 3s per week. This translates to 260,000 cars each year, and there just wasn't enough batteries to make this happen. So Elon and Tesla started out making more premium cars. They could sell at larger profit margins in smaller quantities. But now, they have the Gigafactory and a great partnership with Panasonic. And suddenly, the mass production dream is becoming a reality. So now here we are in the thick of the Model 3 production run. And Elon has another strategy in place. To better illustrate how the Model 3 production is ramping up, let's do some hypothetical accounting. Again, these aren't Tesla's actual financial numbers. We're just choosing numbers to help illustrate our point. If you remember, there have been around 500,000 
Model 3 reservations with down payments of $1,000 each. This equates to $500 million in the bank. We'll use this number to prove our point, but it is also important to note that Tesla has actually ditched the Model 3 reservation system and open purchases up to anyone for a down payment of $2,500. Previous people in the reservation queue can use their $1,000 toward their new $2,500 down payment. Let's face it, it's really expensive producing cars and Tesla needs all the money they can get. So we have $500 million in the bank and let's assume Tesla has an operational cost to run their factories, pay wages, and buy material that will continue to eat away at this initial money in the bank. Let's assume that of a $35,000 Model 3, only $2,000 is actual profit for Tesla. Now let's break down some of the approximate profits for all the other options available as well. If we factor in a price of $200 per kilowatt hour for lithium ion batteries, we see the long range battery upgrade cost Tesla around $5,000, while they sell it for $9,000, a profit of $4,000. The premium package probably cost Tesla around $2,000, and they offer it for $5,000, for a profit of $3,000. Let's assume the enhanced autopilot cost Tesla a similar $2,000, and by selling it for $5,000, they make $3,000. Lastly, the self driving add on probably doesn't directly cost Tesla anything. So the entire 3000 is pure profit. Remember that Tesla's software and machine learning for self-driving cars helps them on all their platforms, not just the Model 3. The same self-driving technology can apply to the Model X or the Tesla Semi. So adding it to a Model 3 doesn't really directly cost them anything. In fact, it helps them since they'll have more cars on their road collecting data to feed their algorithms, making them even better. Lastly, the cost of an electric motor is roughly $2,000. So the all wheel drive package earns them a profit of $2,000. And the performance package doesn't add batteries and it's unclear if the motors are different, but they'll need new electrical equipment for higher amp draw capabilities. And let's say their cost is $5,000. That means the performance package nets Tesla a $6,000 profit. So selling a base Model 3 profits Tesla $2,000 per car. Selling one with extended range profits Tesla $6,000 per car. Selling one with extended range and premium packages profits Tesla $9,000. Add the autopilot suite and the profit grows to $15,000. Add all wheel drive and profits jump to $17,000 per car. Lastly, opt for the performance package and profit per car rises to $23,000. It's a bit like how entrees don't really make restaurants nearly as much money as appetizers and drinks do. If we first consider that battery production is the limiting factor in the Model 3, then a $35,000 base model would need 50 kilowatt hours worth of batteries and yield Tesla just $2,000 in profit or a profit of $40 per kilowatt hour of battery required. Compare that to an extended range car with premium package and autopilot that needs 75 kilowatt hours of batteries but yields a profit of $15,000. That's a profit of $200 per kilowatt hour. So if batteries are the limiting factor, stopping Tesla from making more cars, it makes sense that Tesla would want to make as much money as they can up front to help further their production process. Inversely, if there was a surplus of batteries and the production bottleneck was caused by some other part, then it would still behoove Tesla to create more extended range cars, to use as many batteries as they have for higher profits rather than having them sit around waiting on cars. According to Bloomberg, who have meticulously come up with approximate Model 3 production numbers to date, Tesla's production ramp up looks like this. Now we know that mass production is expensive with tooling, automation, labor, and logistics. Tesla would start burning through their $500 million quickly with each passing day. Clearly their production numbers were low in the early months. And if we started making base Model 3s right away, Tesla would burn through all of its money and never reach profitability. Elon tweeted this very sentiment back in May. Instead, by selling the most profitable trims up front and upping their down payment to $2,500, they can continue to finance their production ramp up and reach a smooth 5,000 cars per month. And if you see that graph, you'll see they're really close. And on July 2nd, Elon tweeted that they actually crossed 5,000 cars per week in a seven day period for the very first time. So if you're a Tesla fan and you really want that base Model 3, relax, it's coming. Elon has worked through a lot of sleepless nights and it finally looks like Tesla is out of production hell 
for the Model 3. And if you're one of the early Model 3 adopters who's purchased a highly appointed car, well, bravo. You're quite literally keeping this one-of-a-kind company afloat. Tesla is sure to make headlines, and lately, it has been a mixed bag of production targets and fake news about skipping crucial final stage safety tests. If there are other topics you'd like us to cover, leave us your comments and we'll follow up. We know EVs are of interest and we have a lot of future videos coming. So hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, hit the bell notification, and we'll keep the videos rolling. We're Tuba Da Vinci. Thanks for watching.